What's up, world? I am TJ, and this is Native Res Media, your place for opinionated tech news, reviews, and entertainment. And today, I'll be bringing you a review of the Asia Horse FS9002 PC fans. Uh, the reason why I'm going over these is because I purchased these to put in a new uh, PC build that I've been doing. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to put that video out before or after this, but I think I should put this one out first. So uh, I'm going to be going over what comes in the box. I'll be going over the tech specs or lack thereof because there's not a whole lot on the tech specs. It does tell the RPM on the website here and I'll go over that kind of stuff. And uh, uh, getting them uh, out the box, taking a look at what comes in here, the ergonomics of the actual uh, fans themselves, and then my overall conclusion and what I think about uh, my, you know, I guess initial opinion of them. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into this review. All right, so let's jump right into this box here. Let me get it opened up. I, this is, uh, so I have three sets of these and I'm gonna tell you how much these cost. Uh, right now, the $39.99 on uh, Amazon for a set of three. It comes with the hub. This is the black ones. Uh, these have uh, uh, dressable RGB. Uh, these have uh, PWM signal that comes to the uh, actual uh, controller themselves. These spin up a, a 800 to 1800 RPMs. Uh, and uh, basically doing a little bit of research online, these have about 35 uh, CFMs. Uh, basically that's the flow uh, from the fans at maximum RPM. So nothing high, not really made for um, your AIOs or anything like that. But I mean, depending on if you're not overclocking a system, these uh, should be fine there. Uh, there's different variations of these. These do come in white. Uh, they do make these, I think uh, it's the FS9001, the FS9002 uh, PWM, but they don't have the proprietary connector. The, they come with a PWM cable and an ARGB cable. They don't come with a hub or anything like that. So you can purchase a hub separate. Those are $34.99, uh, not on sale. So about the same cost with these being on sale. Same thing, about $34. Four thirty-five dollars there. Uh, so, uh, and they're pretty much the same fan, just uh, without the uh, the hub or the proprietary connector. So, let me get this open and take out the manual here. Uh, the fans themselves, uh, pretty nice fans here. Pretty sturdy. Oh, look at there. I think, is it, did my sticker just come off? Yeah, look at that. Take it off the package. One of the side stickers is already popping off there. Let me stick that back on there. Somebody didn't do their job there. So let me, bam, there. And then take out another one. Let's see if the sticker's on that one. Yeah, it's good. So all three fans, bring them on out. So these, again, they do have the uh, ARGB on the fan hub itself here. And then they have the rings on the front and the ring on the back. And I believe it says something about how many uh, RGB lights are on here. So these have uh, 20 RGB LEDs on the rings here, and then they have about six built into the hub here for a total of 26 LED beads is what they call them on Amazon there. Uh, so we got the three fans, got the manual there. You have your PWM connector, so you would connect this into the hub here and then connect the PWM signal into your CPU header or an additional fan header on, on your motherboard there. Uh, you have your uh, fan A RGB uh, connector here. So that would go into the hub and then go into your five volt ARGB port on your motherboard. You have your SATA connector here for power. Uh, this hub, and I'll go over that here in a second. Um, it, it has a, a, a 10 fan support here. So that's pretty, uh, it's pretty nice. It's a lo lot of fans there. So you plug this in here and it has a decent amount of wire here. So you can run this close to your motherboard if you, you know, are concerned with wire management, things like that. It, you know, the gauge on this wire is, uh, it, it's pretty nice. It's significant. I'm sure this will run these little uh, two, three watt fans with no problems there. So I'm gonna put that down. Comes with your uh, mounting screws here. I have another sticker down here at the bottom of this case. So this sticker, oh look, it goes on this fan here. 
Already starting off on the right foot there, Asia Horse. So let's put that down there. All right, so you got, got that, and then you got some double-sided sticky tape to stick the, uh, to mount the uh, controller, and then you have a controller, um, a remote for this controller here. So let me slide that off to the side here. So the controller itself, uh, uh, I do have this installed on my current build here. I have three, uh, six of these fans in there, and I needed nine for my new build that I'm going to be doing. So I ordered three more. Uh, the controller is it's pretty nice. Uh, something I don't like, which a lot of other reviewers complain about as well. The controller doesn't have numbers on where you put the fans in here. It just has little arrows telling you which direction you have to put them. Uh, because if you don't put the fans in the proper order or pro proper sequence inside your case, whenever you go to do the built-in controls on this, uh, you, it might skip over. So if you put fan one here and then two over here on this side, it'll go, it'll skip over in your case. So whenever you go to do their nice little uh, ARGB uh, modes, it'll skip around your case and it won't look as good. So yeah, you want to basically sequence some one, two, three, and four, things like that, if you wanted to do uh, what it's supposed to do on here. Uh, also, uh, you know, the case itself, it's, you know, nothing that's uh, primo or anything like that. It's a uh, uh, I'm sure it's just a PCB that's covered. I do respect the fact that they did cover up the PCB because my Musitex case didn't have the PCB even covered up. But and I, oh, another thing I like about these fans is they, they do, that they do have PWM control. And my case uh, right now, I do have it, have them set up. They get very silent, so you can you know they're very inaudible at the 800 RPMs. And if I'm playing a game, they will kick up the speed and get up to that 1800 RPMs. And I'm not gonna say they're silent at 1800 RPMs, but they're not loud. Uh, usually I have headphones on anyway, but even if I didn't, it wouldn't be a tr intrusive into my gaming or anything like that. So that's another good thing. And it seems like they do have decent uh, airflow. On the back, you can see the proprietary uh, connection and cables coming out of here. And uh, it's, Again, this connector is just like some of the other ones, the GIM connectors, uh, the Musitech connectors, all kind of similar. They just have different types of connections on the end. You can fit them into different ones. And they don't blow out or anything like that. The ARGB still works, but uh, sometimes the PWM may not work. Uh, the reason why I went with these fans is because they had PWM. It's one thing to just have ARGB and the fans, the fans, the fans spinning at 18 or 2,000 RPMs, but uh, without that PWM functionality, it was a, a no-go for me, and that's another reason why I went with these. So. The built-in features in this fan, uh, you know, pretty nice. The you know the controller and the remote. Uh, you have your mo different modes, your fan speed. So if you don't have it plugged into PWM, you can turn the fans up and down. So if you don't have that ability to plug it into your CPU header or an additional uh, fan header on your motherboard, you can control the fan speed. Uh, you can control, uh, again, the lighting and all that kind of stuff. So you don't have to have any of that built into your motherboard to control all that from the remote there. And uh, yeah, just from the remote, you can tap the W three times and it'll switch over to motherboard control, PWM and RGB. Uh, you can switch that over too by switching over the modes there. It has it all in the directions here, which you have to read it a couple times to get it. It's not like extremely clear but you can figure it out if you have a brain i'm sure if you can build a computer you can read these directions and figure out how to work this if you can't go to one of these uh, reviews and i'm sure they'll show you but uh pretty much it when it comes to the manual it it, it walks you through how to plug everything in how the fans need to be uh set up cabin installation tips things like that so that is it we're going to slide it off to the side i'll show a couple of clips with these fans installed inside of my case i'll try to do some uh audio uh levels and kind of you know show you the difference in decibels going from low to high i don't have a decibel a meter i can use my phone and use the decibel uh, meter on that but it won't be as accurate as ac actually having a decibel meter i can just tell you they they're pretty quiet all right so i'm going to try to quickly run through the fan speeds and the fan modes and whatnot uh i have the remote in hand and this is a 2.4 
gigahertz remote so it does not need to be uh, pointed at the controller or anything like that it should just work by pressing the button should receive the signal so uh first uh we're just going to go through the colors and uh so if you look at the remote there's a color mode button on here and that is where you would just hit the mode button and it changes the color mode so you have your rainbow mode and then it'll cycle through and if you can see it'll go from fan to fan because i have them set in a certain order uh the top ones i have them backwards but you'll see here so I just click clicking through you got your breathing color change just different effects and modes as you see it just cycles through and if you look at the colors as it's cycling through it's all somewhat similar as it's cycling through now if you want to change that color for these modes that's where you would hit the color button that's right next to it so I'm going to hit that and you'll see it'll do the same mode but the color of the lights will change so it's that's your rainbow and so say if I wanted to keep it rainbow but just change the mode at which it is going through that color I just keep I click the mode button and so it'll change how you know so you have just the half moon and then you got the full ring around the outside but nothing on the inside there now you got the full kind of ring of uh, the rainbow ring there so a lot of them are similar but there are subtle differences between each mode that you switch to uh, you, you see you got the fans kind of alternating in colors and things like that so it's just different little things that you can uh, swap to so it's changing through there so not bad now i'm going to go over uh the fan speed from the remote it is not uh connected to well it's connected to my pwm header but uh, i have it switched to where i'm controlling the fan speeds directly from the remote so let me rem uh move my uh mic over so that you can hear it a little better all right so i got the mic just off camera here you can see it it's about two feet from the fans about one and a half foot from the case there uh, and I am going to go through the fan speeds. I have it at the lowest level uh, now. Just hit it down, and if I click it one up, you should see it blink blue, uh, and that's how you know that it is uh, changing that fan speed. So I'll go up again. So as uh, you should be able to hear it ramp up a little bit. Click it again. And this, I believe, is the second to the highest fan speed. And then the last one, I think it's 1800 RPM or so, which is the highest, I believe. Let's see. One more time. But that is it. So, uh, the chances of you running at full bore like this at any given time is slim especially if you're uh, using the PWM setting I'm talking you must have a heavy workload going on uh, and even at this speed it's still not super loud so let's click it on back down to the difference real quick. I mean it's almost dead silent on the lowest speed Uh, overall, this is a, a nice set of fans, very hefty. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these fans installed into my new build along with the other ones. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to do an overview, kind of like reviewing these fans, if anyone was interested in them. Just, you know, comment down below, down down below, ask any questions needed, uh, and I will explain that. There was some comments uh, in the reviews on Amazon about oil leakage because these do have the hydro bearing. Uh, so far, I've had mine installed in my current case for a couple of weeks, I think a week and a half, two weeks here, and I have no leakage yet. Uh, if you have that kind of concern 
uh, I, I would always say, you know, get the Amazon three year warranty. It's only what, $4.99. So this would take these to about $40 total. That's if you go with them now with the discount, they're always discounts on Amazon. Just always put them in your wish list, wait for them to go on sale if that's something you need. Uh, pay 40 bucks, get the three year warranty. No, you know, questions asked on parts and labors if they bust or if they break. So that's always going to be a good thing. So if that's something you're concerned about, I think Musitex might have like a one year warranty on these. There's nothing here, but if you check the website, it might have it on there. Uh, there is no warranty card or anything on these, but usually even some of these manufacturers on uh, Amazon will, uh, you know, stand up and, you know, support their products and get you new ones. If you say, yeah, one of my fans has a, a you know, a bearing leak, they don't want to get that uh, negative uh, press. So uh, that's something to look into. Uh, these remind me of the Corsair LL series or the, you know, QL, but the, more so the LL series, the more inexpensive ones. But if you get a set of those or, uh, you know, I think the LLs are what? Um, like three for eighty dollars, so you're you know you're talking half price for these. Uh, so if you get six of these, you're going to pay the same for one set of the LLs, and then those have proprietary connections, proprietary software. Yeah, it works with your ASRock uh, Polychrome Sync, your MSI Lighting Sync, your Gigabyte RGB Fusion, your Aura Sync, and whatever else you want to throw at it. It works with all those software. So you just plug it in, plug this into your ARGB header, and you should be fine there. Um, and like I said, what the Lee and Lee ones, the uh, the ones that connect, I forgot the name of them. There is, you know, escaping me for now, but they are nice. You can connect them to together and things like that. But I mean, you're paying ninety, a hundred dollars for a three three of those fans. Um, but uh, it's Lee and Lee, of course. Uh, the support and the quality of those are probably going to be better than these Asia Horse fans. But of all the inexpensive fans that I've uh, looked for and found, these were some of the best that uh, I've seen. Like I said, if the ones that I've compared, the ones that I've owned, these are, are pretty nice with the rubber grommets in the ear. Uh, so yeah, uh, these are the Asia Horse FS9002s. If you have any questions, again, feel free to comment down below. Thank you guys for watching this video. Peace out.